In a previous video, I had loaded up some pretty nifty 38 special loads which were made from the NOE 358-195HP U6 hollow point mold and some unique powder. We used them to silently blast some milk jugs with the Marlin 1894 CST lever gun suppressed. And so, <laughs> it's so quiet when it does it too. <laughs> you can hear that. You can hear the whole thing just explode. Yeah, it's like click, boom. Which was super fun, and also shot them in my snubby 357 revolver, which was not quite as fun, as well as my GP100 Match Champion revolver on some steel targets. People asked if the soft cast hollow points expanded and what they look like. So I decided to put this gel test video together to show you how those performed. Okay, now it's time to do a gel test with these powder coated 195 grain soft cast hollow points made with my NOE bullet mold. So here we go. Out of my snubby Smith & Wesson. This one is actually a Scandium frame 357, but uh, we're gonna shoot it in that because I don't have my 38 Special anymore. The first question that Evan and I had was Three, two, if one. these soft cast hollow points would expand when shot from a really short barrel. The rounds chronoed out about 633 feet per second out of the snubby so for this video, what I'll do is I'll show the firing of the shots into the gel from the three different firearms first, then summarize the data, and then last, I'll cut them out of the gel and I'll show you what they look like. Here we go. Okay, three, two, one. Two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. So this is what we got right here. One, two, three, and then four on the bottom. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Okay, so now we saw that uh, we didn't get the expansion quite that we were expecting out of those with the little snub nose. So now we're going to give it a little bit more velocity in the old Marlin 1894, 357. So uh, we're, we're just gonna shoot to the, the right side of it and uh, see, how, see what it does. Three, two, one. That expanded. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Thank you. 
three, two, one. 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 Now the lever action, you can see, let's see, right there, we'll cut them out, but those look like they penetrated all about the same within an inch or so and they expanded like crazy and dumped all their energy okay now we're gonna see if the longer barrel of the I, this is just like a what four inch barrel on the gp 100 mesh champion so see if the extra couple inches on the barrel makes a difference with the velocity and enough time for it to uh, go faster to expand so we're gonna test two shots into the gel with this guy Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. All right, now I'm at home and it's time to cut those bullets out of the gel. And I'm gonna try and group them together in, I guess, what they were shot in. So this first one is easy. This one was a powder coated one that was shot in the little snubby. Now we got good access to this one up here. This is from the GP100. Now I don't know if any of you have played around with gel before, but this stuff is like crazy tough. Like I can stab really hard and it only goes in <laughs> not too far <laughs> anyways Let's look at these. So these four right here were the ones from the powder coat and the snub nose revolver. These ones are the, the traditionally lubed with the snub nose revolver. These were the lever action, which were like crazy mushrooms. And with no loss. Now there's no pedaling, it hasn't lost any bullet weight and these three are the ones that are from the GP100 this one just opened up to like 364 ish but not really opened up much and this one these ones opened up pretty decently about 0.599 and 0.639 so these ones you can see that they expanded quite a bit but they did not you know fold over like a like a mushroom but yeah and two out of th two out of the three expanded and the one didn't really but the lever action man these things are crazy mushrooms and these expanded to 0.67 with a complete fold over of the you know the tip no loss of mass point six nine three 
I can't remember which one I measured, but they're like all about the same. 0.698. And these ones, this one opened up just ever so slightly to like 403. 362, 358, 353, and on this side, just 366, 360, 365. But man, these are the crazy ones right here. Full on mushrooms, but not bad with the not bad with the GP100. All right, and just a quick analysis or things that I noticed or things that I learned. So one, just because bullets don't expand doesn't mean they don't cause huge damage. Look at the temporary wound channels of the non-expanding bullets. Two, ballistic gel is weird stuff. Having slow motion was nice to be able to see what was happening inside the gel. The bullets all appeared to penetrate a lot farther, but then they bounced back. Several of the bullets appeared to hit the second block and then bounce back quite a bit. Weird stuff, this gel. Three, the faster the bullets went, the more consistent penetration they had, probably due to the longer barrel burning, all or a higher percentage of the powder as well as a consistent expansion of the bullet. 4. The loads out of the 357 Snubby didn't expand. Probably would have to find a way to speed them up a little bit in that super short barrel using maybe a faster powder, or maybe try and cast them even softer with like dead soft pure lead, if you want to get the expansion out of that short barrel. The loads out of the snubby had a lot of variance with penetration. Some penetrated a lot and others not so much. I'm guessing that this is probably due to inconsistent powder burns or powder positioning affecting the burning of the powder in such a short barrel. The difference in barrel length between the GP100 and snubby was not a ton, maybe what two and a half inches or so, but that was enough to speed it up about a hundred and something feet per second more to expand in one and not the other. 7. I didn't see a huge difference in expansion or penetration between the A-LOX lubed bullets and the powder coated bullets. They both seem to perform about the same. 8. The suppressed lever action with this soft load is super sweet and tons of fun. It's, like I said in the previous video, quiet destruction with full on mushroom expansion. Also, I was going to say, if any of you disagree with my analysis, please feel free to leave a comment down below and we can share our theories between the bullets in the three different guns.